Hello everyone, I am back with a video that happened a long time ago, way more time than I am happily ready to admit. I've been doing a lot of racing, I've been doing a lot of travel for work, I've been doing a lot of travel for racing. So we do have a lot of good stuff coming up in the pipeline. We do have actually a wet weather race at Adams coming up next because this is Tri-C Round 2 Chill Challenge round three as it is per usual in california the only time we ever get rain which is in the quote-unquote winters that we have so we did get ourselves a bit of a rain race pretty interesting stuff now what made this one really interesting isn't that it took us three or four times to get started it is because the reason that it took us three or four times to get started is because there was a total of 38 go-karts on the track i think at the morning of there was 40 entries. I think probably what happened, two people got really scared and they were like, nah, I'm not gonna do it. But I didn't back down. I didn't back down from that challenge. What I did back down from was a good start, but we were able to close the gap. Thankfully, no one cut in front of us. Now I'm trying to look as far ahead as possible to make sure that I, that I don't die through here and don't die, I did. So now someone, bumps us i bump the person in front of us but you know what whatever that's a good benefit for me because that has us up into 17th place and i give this guy the hand signal let's work together me and i the, him and i the precision karting driver and we're gonna see what we can do as this guy i don't know just turns off his go-kart doesn't want to race anymore probably like the other two people that signed up in the morning and just didn't want to race and therefore we couldn't have a 40 cart field instead it's a 38 cart field probably exactly what happened in the morning but right now we don't need to worry about that we need to worry about still a little bit of survival as i might say because still lap two everyone is still kind of closely packed together as i miss the apex through there you got to get all the way on top of that curb if not it's going to pretty much destroy your go-kart and yeah we are in position number 16 as you can see on the screen i'm just naming things and we are in lap number four something else that you can also see on the screen now something else you can also see on the screen is someone just being sent into sandbox so that's not good and then we have the driver behind us who is closing in on us that's also not that good but what is good is we have the top 10 right there in front of us we do have a good opportunity at getting a really good result in a race that actually had a lot of really good talent and no i'm not just talking about myself I'm talking about other drivers because you know it's not just me who's talented everybody's talented in their own way but that's not what's important what's important is the precision carding driver and I, he's under a little bit of a threat, so I do believe he kind of wants to work together and move himself away from the GFC and the HRT driver behind him. So I'm not really going too defensive. I kind of left a little bit of a gap through there and that kind of compromised my exit through there, so he bumps me through. Now, I can't really be making too much of those mistakes because what that will make him be is a bit impatient, then he will overtake me and then everything will just look a lot worse for me because Right now, we are halfway through the race. We are hanging in there. One of the things I did learn recently, and by recently, I mean current day recently, is that I've been going out on tire pressure that is way too high. Someone else turns off their engine. I've been going out on tire pressure that is way too high. And towards the end of the race, I mean, kind of depending on the temperature, but towards the back half of the race, I would start to lose a little bit of performance in my go-kart and the reason for that is because the pressures were too high and I was probably going out probably two pounds higher than I should I think sometimes even like three pounds higher than I should be going out on so what that allowed me to do was get really good starts but for the rest of the race anything that I made up in the start I was just gonna go ahead and lose it in the back now going to this turn right here as we look further back not sure what really happened there, but I will say it was in my benefit. So we'll take it. Now, going into lap number seven, we're almost there. We still haven't really made 
too much progress on that top 10 pack right there and we are about to make even less progress as we get double overtaken we get absolutely trained through little monza not what you want to be having so i'm just gonna go ahead and blame that on myself setting the tire pressure too high nothing to do with driver's skill through there same thing as this overtake that's about to happen through there absolutely nothing to do with driver's skill as there's actually some overtakes going on behind this so thankfully with that i didn't really lose too much time to the people behind me because that would just set them up to have an overtake going into little monza as well so we're gonna see how much longer we can kind of just hang on through here we have some yellow flags because someone i don't know just parallel parked on little monza you're not supposed to do that but i mean unfortunately that was someone who was already behind me so i didn't gain any positions through there so that's fine as we go over these s's that tend to tend to flatten your chassis and if you don't know what i mean by that those curbs kind of protrude a little bit more than they should so instead of your tires touching the curb it's your frame and while tires are expensive frames are more expensive so i do not like that to be fast through that section you need to pretty much sacrifice your chassis but i mean that's kind of just the nature of the tracks here in california i did get the opportunity and i will be releasing more videos about that in the future it might be a bit iffy, a bit shaky. Actually, you probably have seen some videos where I was driving and it started hailing, but that's actually down in Tucson. And it's a really cool track. It's very high speed. One of the really nice things about it is that to go fast, by the way, as I lose two more positions, to go fast, you don't need to destroy anything. The curbs are nice. The asphalt is nice it has like a few bumpy sections but it's really nothing to really complain about at all and yeah it's it's just it's like a brush of fresh air you know it's like i can go fast here and i don't need to worry about destroying anything right i mean sure if you go off and make a mistake you're gonna get in the grass you're gonna get in the dirt you're gonna get in the rocks the curbs will send you up and everything like that but if you do everything right you will be rewarded for doing everything right by not destroying anything more than it already is being destroyed. So, as we finish up this race, finishing up in 19th out of 38, I'm not necessarily really too happy with that result. I know that, sure, there's a lot of things I can go ahead and blame, like, oh, I was not renting an engine and mine was getting pretty close to a rebuild and with such a close pack blah 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 but kind of going off like some of the things that i've been trying to build on this two stroke as someone gets sent off into the ground and i make up a few positions right here through the start i'm gonna kind of get squeezed through the inside and the outside right there in the middle thankfully surviving but kind of losing a little bit of momentum through there one of the things that i did need to focus on as we have someone else being sent off into little monza not sure how that happened i don't know if it was locking the brakes or probably a punt most likely a punt but as i was saying one of the things that i really needed to work on especially on this track at adams i feel like apex i had it pretty down i mean after having the whole season of tri c on the same track layout for pretty much a whole year and going out there and practicing on the same exact track i had it a lot more down but it was more getting used to the speeds of this, still this KA as clearly not getting used to how to overtake properly and losing two positions through there. Actually not losing one position, but I could have potentially gained another one if I had set that up correctly. But as I was saying, I'm still just a bit inconsistent through the laps. I'm not able to nail down a time the way that I'm kind of able to do on the 206 as I lose another position through there and then we're kind of going side by side. I do have a bit of an edge and by a bit of an edge, I definitely had that corner through there as we look back. I don't know. I have my opinions. I'm a bit biased in my opinions. I'll let, I will let you I would let you make the decision, as you like and subscribe, of course. I would let you make the decision to see if it was a racing incident. Was it my fault? Was it their fault? I don't know. 
but I later get DQ'd because my bumper was dragging and yeah pretty unfortunate end to the race and I will hope to have a better race next time in the rain and that will be coming out very very soon I promise